Hello everybody and welcome to Freakan Effects where I'm going to show you today how to create the typical 80s landscape with uh, wireframes and so like this one and this background that you can see here. Um, for making this you're going to need a Blender 3D that is a free 3D software that is the one that I'm going to use now and you can find it in blender.org okay it, it's free so you can just go to this page and download it um, it's a very nice tutorial I mean sorry a very nice 3D program <laughs> so once you have blender you should come uh, you should uh, come here um you know I, I can show you how to use the wall thing you know there's there are a lot of things that you can create with this program uh, you can you know extrude um, duplicate the objects um, so you know in case you wanna in case you don't know how to use this program and you want to know how to you'll have to check some other tutorials because this is um this is supposed to be a medium tutorial you know and in, if you want if you would want me to show you how to manage with blender it will be a very long tutorial it wouldn't be hard but it would be very very long tutorial so um this is extremely easy how to make this uh, wireframe thing so you you should come to edit mode pressing tab press a to select the wall faces and now hold control and press f and you have to come here where it says wireframe and the object automatically uh, sets into a wireframe mode and now in case you don't want these background edges to appear you just want the front edges you will have first to duplicate the object pressing shift D and select one of them get into the edit mode control F wireframe um, if you're in the edit mode in the wireframe object and you hold alt and press S you can you can scale the, the edges scale you know like choose if you want them to be thinner or a little bit more fat that's up to you. Now we want to uh, give me some materials to this. So select the edges, um, come here, and we want this to be completely white. Uh, make sure that you select shadeless so that no light or shade applies to this object. And the object that doesn't have the wireframe, the one that is supposed to be inside, we want it to be black. So we delete this material we create a new one and we select it black and now again you come here and you press shadeless now uh, if you press serum the numpad uh, you will get to the camera and here this is the render menu here um, the two basic things that you gotta keep in mind for making this is here in the shading part you in alpha you should put it to transparent so that when you render, it doesn't render any kind of background color, only transparent. And also make sure that in output, you select PNG and RGBA so that the alpha renders. So press F12 to, um, oops. Come on, okay, <laughs> sorry you press F12 to render the image and F3 to save the image okay so um, for making this tutorial I made a I made a you know a very quick neon city uh, is this one um, you know it's not you maybe might wonder that this is very hard to do actually it isn't okay it isn't hard to do at all but you know you have to spend a couple of days looking for tutorials and things so that you can you can get this but it's the same the same thing okay just having your or city and then duplicating the wall thing and after duplicating it setting one to wireframe and uh, you know scaling uh, scaling it up a little bit and the edges white and the, the main object black and okay after we have for seeing if you made a video or uh, image no matter what we can come now to After Effects um, I made a video for this okay so this is more or less what 
you should have. And now uh, we could we could uh, make a little bit of glow to this uh, image. So for making this glow, we'll have to maybe duplicate it a couple of times. And you will you will want to set this this to add mode. Okay, so we can see that it is bright. And now we can apply a fast blur. The first one here, maybe 10. And the second one, another fast blur, maybe 20. Well, actually, this is really bright. I don't want it that bright, so I'm just going to leave the first one. So this looks pretty nice. Um, if you pre-compose this, we can post this uh, city. Um, you have to create a new black layer here, and make sure that you put it, that you drop it um, here in the at the bottom, so that you cannot see it. And now we want to apply an effect that um, it should be called in English something like color balance. I don't know exactly. Um, make sure that you click here to to maintain the you know the lighting um, now we want to give this some color and this is the same way that you do a lightsaber so you can now select here if you want it blue or here you can select a lot of different ways okay of making this I don't think I'm gonna leave it like that a little bit like purple this is really 80s yeah, so that looks very cool. And um, now uh, we can add maybe some some background. You know, this is up to you, up to what you want to do. Um, maybe we can make uh, the typical 80s song. So for making that, we're going to create a new, here, a new layer. And we want to select a... Uh, the ellipse tool, okay, for making a circle. So you wanna click here and make this circle there. And we wanna take now um, this effect, generate. Um, I don't know if in English it's called pendant or blend or ramp. I really don't know. In Spanish it's pendiente, so you'll just have to check in the generate menu until you get this effect so you put it one here the other here this is for creating a blending color so you want the first one maybe like this and instead of white we want a yellow and we want to now select the rectangle tool and make sure that you select the first layer I want to create a something like this. This one now, another one here, another one here, another one here. And this last one that you created, select all of them and turn them to to the second one. Uh, not add the subtract. That's it. Um, this way you should create this typical 80s sound. So you drop this at the back, um, you can put this into screen mode. So now we can scale this down a little bit and put it here. And you know, there's a, there's a lot of ways you can, you can do this effect. You know, if now you want to add maybe a, I don't know, an optical flare, you can, you can use a, Andrew Kramer's plugin, Optical Flares, that is actually a very nice one. Or you can go to Google and look for Optical Flare PNG. There are a lot of ways you can do this. So you can come here and add an Optical Flare. In case your Optical Flare, if you selected an image and it has a, back, uh, a black background, you can set it to screen or to add. In add mode, it's going to be brighter. And you can scale it up a little bit put it like here maybe um 
if you come to hue saturation you can here change the color and again this depends on what you want to do you can put a stars background on in case you want to make this um you know rgb split effect or vhs effect that depends on what you want to do so that's all most of it um this again depends on how you want to make this effect and um, playing with it and i hope that you enjoyed that you found this helpful um again if you want me to do any kind of tutorials just let me know and I will see what I can do and I hope to enjoy and I will hope you uh, I hope sorry to see you next time in my next tutorial. So subscribe and see ya!